Good morning and welcome to our day two vlog here from Butlins in Bognor Regis. And finally the rain has stopped. Yeah, it was so rainy last night. Oh, you could hear it on our apartment, couldn't you, in the night? Just really bad. trembling down. But uh, yeah, luckily it stopped and the sun's out again for us today. Shorts, even got shorts on. I've got shorts on today. <laughs> but yeah, we've got a nice action-packed day for you. Well, what are we going to be doing today then, Charlotte? So, we're going to see Little Mermaid the musical, which I'm excited to see because the productions are like the pantomimes are always really good here. Mm, definitely. Then we're going into the water park this afternoon which will be really good yes and then we're going to see the Greg Jones show and then we are going to see Strictly Latino so we've got a lot coming up tonight so yeah looking forward to splash the most because I love water parks and this was refurbished two years ago well I say refurbished completely rebuilt the old water park used to be in a completely different location here at Bogner they built the new one they spent millions of pounds on it and it looks absolutely awesome so we'll take you for a little look up there later on I'm even going to uh, give the yeah. raft slide again oh there you go Charlotte's going to give the slides again I don't think we're going to be able to film inside with the GoPro unfortunately as we would take you along but I will ask when we go up there but I don't think they allow it um, but yeah we've got a nice action packed day ahead come and join us here at Butlins we'll also try and fit in the go-karts later as well yes hopefully yeah yeah definitely and of course um, so much you. to see here oh I don't know about oh, yeah. that uh, the go-karts are an upcharge the six pounds aren't they for a yes. car um, well that's fine you've got to think you know not everything can be included in your break there's already so much that you get and it's like with the swimming you know that's included normally you can go as many times as you want at the moment though you do need to book don't you yeah you have to book on the app but then when you're here you can book more spaces while you're here so hopefully later in the trip we'll and get they another have, like, swim standby lines as well definitely right we'll head down to the skyline pavilion we're going into a venue that you've not yet seen um, from this trip of course we went into studio 36 last night and also reds today we're going into center, center stage, stage yeah. so we'll head in there i believe it's just upstairs from reds but yeah we'll head into the skyline that's where we get into this venue and we'll go and see our first show of the day looking forward to this so of course you've also got lots of different food options down here at Butlins. You've got the diner down that way, that's an American style diner, Papa John's Pizza, and last night, <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Last night we went to fish and chips just over there. And we took it back to our apartment and it was lovely. Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah, it was delicious. Where are we going tonight then? So we're going to the Firehouse Grill tonight, which is like a Nando's. Mm, yeah, it's brand new here. So I've it's... never had a Nando's. No, well, this isn't a Nando's. It's, it's just like Nando's, their version. It's Nando's inspired. So yeah, we're going to check that out tonight. What are you on just here? I'm on my horse. That's an Orden horse. Great photo opportunity. I like how they've even got the saddles on there as well. Yep. <laughs> now last night all of these chairs were lit up I was going to show you but obviously it was absolutely throwing it down when we came out of seeing Charlotte's favourite Mr Max Fulham uh, <laughs> but um, yeah you know it looked really nice all lit up of course you've got the supermarket over there that stocks co-op food so it's not actually too badly priced of course it's a bit more expensive than a normal supermarket but yeah, it was alright wasn't it like you bought some uh, bits in there and it wasn't too bad yeah definitely of course you've got the ice cream shops lots of different gift shops toy shops and so much more so much to see here at Butlins we all head into the skyline and we're going into center stage so yeah the biggest venue um, of course what's their permanent ones um, studio 36 now is obviously the largest that they've got but like I say I don't know if they're going to be keeping that or not um, after sort of social distancing ends in a few weeks I'm not too sure blimey it feels weird saying that we'll head into uh, the skyline pop our masks on here we go then so we just took our seats here in center stage ready for the little mermaids nice venue isn't it yeah it's really nice i like all the lights around the outside it looks great and we're actually above reds we are yeah yeah reds is just downstairs but yeah really looking forward to this it's actually a one hour long show we're right down here at the front as well unfortunately though we're not allowed to film oh, this one no. you're allowed to film most of the shows here at butlins not this, not this one later on though we can film the entertainment yeah, i believe can, yeah. it's just with this being a proper like west oh. end style show because they do a really good job of these they do don't a they job of these. Um, but of course when we come out we'll uh, tell you all about it and we're gonna go in the gift shop Yes. We'll take you in the shop and see what we can find over in there. But uh, yeah, lovely uh, venue here, nice and big. And of course, like we mentioned in yesterday's vlog, you order to the table all your drinks and stuff yeah. that you want. Nice and easy via the uh, the B Serve app, is it Be this server. one? Yeah, that you can get and get everything uh, ordered to your table. But yeah, really nice venue. Love all the lighting in here. And of course, we're going to be back in here anyway later, I think, aren't we, for some yeah, of the entertainment? Be, yeah. So yeah, we'll be back in here tonight to come and see one of the shows. But uh, yeah, looking forward to this. It's the Little Mermaids right down by the front. Right.
Right then, so we've just watched the absolutely fantastic pantomime, The Little Mermaid, over in centre stage, and that was brilliant. I've just put in a short little clip there from the official Butlins YouTube channel, just to give you a little bit of a look at what that show is like. And uh, you know what, it was brilliant. All the music, the special effects, there was fire pyrotechnics, uh, some of the actors floating on the stage. It was really well put together. And like I say, the way Butlins put that show on, it's like a West End production. Really high quality show, just over an hour in length too. There was no um, interval, it was all the way through. And it was absolutely fantastic, action packed. The music, the costumes, the lighting, the special effects, all came together in an absolutely awesome show. Really enjoyed it. Did you like it, Charlotte? Yeah, really good. Like, there was so much going on, loads of nice costumes, loads of brilliant singing, I really enjoyed it. Lots of cheesy puns and jokes in yeah, there as well. Like, the, yeah, of course, somebody kept coming on. Crabby. Like, yeah, let's get crabby. Yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. Now, really impressed with the shows that Butlins do. The entertainment this trip so far has been great. Of course, in the day one vlog, and um, we covered all of that fantastic entertainment that we saw yesterday. And uh, yeah, we of course just watched that to start our day here today. We're over at the Skyline Cafe now. So oh, I've got a jacket potato with cheese. There you go. How there much go. was that then? Um, we got the receipt. How much is it? Reasonable pricing. Bad, to be fair, it's very nice. Yes, yeah, so this is a great place for lunch. I mean, there is quite a few options for lunch. Of course, you've got Burger King and other restaurants, but you just want a quick sort of light buy. Uh, which is nice and then they do pre-made sandwiches as well. Now all three, well okay, don't say that, I'll be having one. All three of the Butlins resorts used to have the Skyline Cafe, but yeah, this is now actually the only one to still have it. Because um, as I mentioned in the day one vlog yesterday, um, with this whole area at the other resorts in Minehead and Skegness, they have big concerts in here in the Skyline. So they actually took any permanent structures out of the middle so they could easily turn it into a concert arena. And I really like how they've kept this in here, all the kind of seating areas and infrastructure instead of it all being flat it's on these nice little levels and yeah i think it's really nice in this skyline like i say it is the biggest one as well um out of the three and yeah the uh, classic skyline cafe is still going is it nice oh that's good there there you go quite a good portion it's in a little box as well so you could take it away if you wanted but yeah that was absolutely brilliant love seeing the pantomime but like, honestly, if you come into Butlins, like, you've got to make sure that you see that. I mean, during our break, there's actually four opportunities to see it. Um, that isn't always going to be the case, but it's definitely worth seeing. Like I say, if you appreciate theatre and big productions, a lot of people think, oh, Butlins, you know, the shows are going to be good, but probably not anything outstanding. But no, that really is. And everything we've seen so far has been brilliant. And like Charlotte mentioned earlier, We've got a couple more shows that we're going to be seeing later tonight that we're really looking forward to as well. Anyway, we're actually going to be heading over to Splash soon, the swimming pool. Uh, of course, I'll get a bit of footage of the outside, show you like the outdoor rapids area that they've got there. And uh, yeah, it's looking really good actually. Can't wait to get inside. I've got our time slot booked for this afternoon. So it's going to be uh, really good. I'll tell you what we will do though first, before we head back and get ready for swimming, we'll have a little look inside the big Butlins gift shop. But you can see it there just behind me there with the uh, red facade on with the star so we're going to have a look around the shop and see what merchandise there is here at butlins in bogner regis so of course you've also got the stage here in the skyline as well we are going to be catching the skyline gang that'll be coming up in the third and final vlog that we're going to be filming here from butlins in bogner yeah you got bar rosso just over there as well or rosso i'm not too sure how you pronounce it i was just saying to charlotte can you imagine a drop tower in the middle there how cool would that be it'd be a really nice feature wouldn't it it's saying a big drop tower in yeah, the middle really good, be really. nice wouldn't it but we're gonna have a look in the butlin store i love the facade for this all the uh, curtains on there it feels very premium doesn't it all the lighting very glitzy very glamorous let's go and have a look and see what merchandise they've got straight away i tell you what i can see it's billy butlin Little teddy bear, of course we had him in the background at the start of the vlog. Here you are. All these different ones. So you can get Billy or Bonnie, $14.99. I have actually got one of these somewhere at home yeah. in my theme park collection when I was a kid. He's evolved a little bit over the years though, Billy Buckley. He looks a little bit different than when I used to come. But yeah, I've got one. You get Bonnie just over here as well. Want to get Bonnie? Don't think they used to have Bonnie but when I was a kid. But yeah, you can get Bonnie. Lovely gift shop though. I like all the stars that change colour. And of course you can get all the stuff for the Skyline Gang. Oh, you get all the t-shirts. Now the Skyline Gang, again, has evolved a lot over the years, much like uh, Billy has, Billy Bear. Um, the Skyline Gang used to be very different when I was a kid, so it's going to be really interesting to actually see that and what it's bad. like. £12. Yeah, not too bad at all. Special They're offers. Quite good, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Used to love the Skyline Gang. I never used to miss a show. 
Oh, I never used to dress up as them, but I did used to like it. I didn't miss a show. They used to do like three or four different shows during your break, and I'd be here for all of them. Like, used to love it. There, all your Skyline Gang merch just over there. Yeah, some lovely merchandise. Oh, he's got a Butlins 2021 bear just down there. It's quite nice. All sorts of stuff for the kids over here. Here we go, you can get your ears just there. Yeah, <laughs> get your billy ears. That's quite nice, isn't it? Nice little shirt there. Great for the kids. Get a little plush puppet, $8.99. Oh, they're good, aren't they? Quite like them. And have a go, but COVID restrictions, yeah. <laughs> oh, you can get the little Bonnie one down there as well. Block puzzle, $9.99. Yeah, loads of great stuff for the kids. We'll have a look around the other side of the shop, see what else there is. Oh, you get some flags as well. Here you go, here's all your plush teddies for the Skyline Gang. $9.99. Just down there. Which one's your favourite if you've been to Butlins? Let me know. Comment down below. I never really used to have a favourite. I used to just like them all, to be honest. All the different cheesy dance tunes they did. Oh, we love a good mug here at Theme Park Worldwide. There you go. There's a couple of different Butlins mugs just there. Some really nice stuff all down here. Even get a nice Butlins umbrella. Bags. Oh, there we go. I bet that's really interesting, actually. Only five ninety nine. that's quite. Yeah, it's, I bet that's quite a nice book, actually. I'd be really, let's have a little look. I'd be really interested in that, actually. That looks really good. Yeah, of course. You know, he was a showman, and like I said in yesterday's vlog, we covered all the fun fair yesterday. He was the first to actually bring the Dodgem over to the UK. I don't know if there's pictures in it or not. No, it's not a, a, a picture book, so to speak. Oh, is there a few? Uh, Not many, no. No, a few pictures in there. Yeah, there you go. Elephants and stuff they used to have here. Blimey, how times have changed. Yeah, I bet that's a really fascinating read. I do normally like a picture book, though. I sound like a right kid, don't I? But yeah, I prefer a picture book. Got a few different pin badges up there as well. Seven ninety nine. Of course, the anniversary pin badge set. Delighting families since 1936. They're nice, aren't they? I reckon they've got like different ones for the different resorts as well because like I say there's three Butlins here in the UK. It used to be a lot more actually but they decided to close a lot of them and bring the operation a lot sort of tighter across the three and make them better and built the skylines and upgraded accommodation and facilities. Mm, yeah, not too bad at that, are they? Only six pound now. That's all right. I like how they've got the red coats on there. The iconic red coats of course here at Butlins. They do a fantastic job. They're always there. Unfortunately, there's going to be no party dances though this trip. Uh, still a couple of weeks to go until hopefully they'll be returning when restrictions are fully eased here in England. Oh, here we go. There's the picture of the monorail. What's the picture book? There we go. Oh, there. That's a better one. Twenty pound for this one. Yeah, that's more my kind of book. That's got the old pictures. It's good, isn't it? Oh, there you go. The old monorail down there. And that's mine head there, isn't it? That we can yeah. see. It's really good. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, Billy Butler. Oh, what have you found over here, Charlotte? Oh, you goats this. Oh, that's nice. You're going to have to get that. It's lovely. Oh, got a little goat I on there. got the fridge magnet as well, but they haven't got it now. It's gone. Yeah, you've got, got the goat fridge back. magnet. Look at this. You I've didn't got spot to get that. This. How nice is that? How much yeah. is it? It's just 3.99. Oh, that is nice, that is. That's like made yeah. for you. Goat yeah. merchandise at Butlins. Oh, there we go, goat merch. Absolutely fantastic. And then down this end, you've got all sorts of like, kind of, you know, seasidey things that you can get for like your man cave at home or your little beach hut that you might have in the garden next to your hot tub. I'm a naughty nipper. <laughs> there you are. Oh, I love it. Yeah, so I'll look around the, uh, around the shop. Yeah, gonna go and have a nice sandwich now. Back at the apartments, I think, before we uh, get ready to go down to Splash. Love that. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, you goat this, Charlotte. <laughs> now, just before we head back to the room, just thought I'd show you the little kids' fun fair that you got down here. Uh, we did kind of show this last night when we walked past, but it was all closed because it was on an evening. There you got the little cars ride going around just there. You got the uh, carousel, the rockets, and also a little bugs ride as well over there. These are open in the daytime, not on a night. And of course, you've got the huge play area there as well. Great for the kids. Can't go on though, Charlotte. Oh, I'd love to go in there. I think it's 1.5 is the max height restriction. You might be okay. Yeah. <laughs> you imagine just going around there. I think we'll let the kids enjoy that one. Of course, you've got the other big fun fair outside. And so, uh, yeah, we did film all of that in the uh, day one vlog. Lots of POVs with the GoPro as well. Very nice in here. We also went to see the Puppet Castle yesterday. That was great over in the Puppet Theatre. That's just behind the rides here. 
Right then, so we're all refreshed. We've had some lunch and we're ready to go swimming in the brand new pool. Yay. Looking forward to it. I say brand new. It was completed in 2019, replaced the old pool. I've just been doing a bit of research on it. You know how much it cost, Charlotte? How much? 40 million pounds they spent That's on this. That's a lot of money. Oh, honestly, they used to have a lot of old accommodation up at this side. They flattened all of that and then built the new pool and also like all the parking area over there as well. Because as you we mentioned yesterday, all the car parks for uh, where we're staying are actually over at this side of the resort. And then you walk over down to where your accommodation is. Not too far though, it takes about five minutes. But uh, blimey, it's windy, oh, it's isn't it? Windy. I'm glad to get inside. Oh, I know, yeah. Well, there's the outdoor. Whoa, I'm blown away. We've got the outdoor sections here as well. But uh, yeah, I believe they're open oh, even in Paul Weather. On the <laughs> yeah, it's like an outdoor rapids ride. There's actually seven different experiences that you can enjoy here. And uh, it's the only water park in the world to feature at the Halter Skelter Slide. That's quite you can good. tell I've just been reading the press release, can't you, to get all the information. But I'll spin you guys round and we'll show you the building for this because it looks very different than the other splash water parks that we've got at the other two Butlins resorts. Oh, and here it is. Welcome to the Splash Water World. The building for this is pretty stunning. It's got a bit of an Art Deco style to it, in my opinion, but like a modern take on it. Brand new build. Like I said, there used to be rows of accommodation over here, and it looks absolutely stunning. I love how you've got this walkway down to it here as well, and the sun's come out right on cue for us to show you the outside. And of course, it expands all the way around that side uh, and off to the right as well. And that's where you've got the outdoor section. So yeah, there's like an outdoor garden rapids just up there. Looks great, doesn't it, Charlotte? Yeah, it looks really nice. Look forward to seeing it inside. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there is some windows, of course, where you can view into the water park. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to be able to use the GoPro in here, but what I will do, um, I'll put in a little bit of footage from the official Butlins YouTube channel just to give you a bit of a look round in there. It's a short little video just showing you what um, the Splash Water Park is like here. In terms of at the moment with the COVID restrictions, just explain a little bit about how long we get and uh, that sort I of thing. It's around an hour that you get at the moment. And everything needs to be booked, doesn't and it? everything has to be booked on the app prior to coming. So, uh, yeah, make sure that you get your time slots booked in. But we're all swim ready. That's why Charlotte's like ready to go there. Uh, we've got our swimming gear on underneath. Uh, so we can just quickly get in and enjoy the pool. But so, uh, yeah, we'll see you afterwards. And we'll give you a bit of a review, of course, compared to the other two Splash Water Worlds at Butlins. Um, I'm expecting this to be really good in here, especially with it being uh, pretty much brand new, less than two years old. Really looking forward to it. Doesn't look like it's going to be too busy, though, for our session so hopefully we'll get all the rides done and we'll see you when we come out. So you've just seen some promotional footage there of the Splash Water World here at Butlins Bognor Regis. Now before I go into detail about it, just want to say how proud I am of Charlotte here. She's not the most confident of water parks, are you? And you went on a couple of slides, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. So you went on the big um, like raft slide, what they've got there, and also you went on a little body slide as well. Yeah, I did, so I'm quite happy with oh, myself. I'm proud of you for going on them. So let me go through the general feel of the water park. Just want to say it's so clean, really well managed in there, and it's just a great space. Like, it's all kind of whitewashed walls so with some bright. nice bits of theming. It's really bright in there, isn't it? Uh, now, in terms of the slides, like you've got the family raft slide. It was good fun. However, it was quite short, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, it was quite short. It was just a few turns and then you was at the end. Yeah, um, but it was okay. You know, a nice family slide. Then there's the adrenaline slide, which is a body slide. So I went on that. Charlotte didn't, of no. course. Uh, but I went on that and it was nice and fast. Um, but again, it was pretty short. What I liked about both of the slides, though, is that they had some like kind of clear tube 
uh, which meant that the light was shining in with some nice patterns. Yeah, definitely. Don't know if you noticed that, like yeah, on the, like on the, the rough the slide. Yes, yeah, so that was quite a nice little effect on there. In terms of other slides, we've got the rock slide, which is literally not like rocks where you go down. It's like a stick of rocks. That was quite cool. Quite cute to look at. Um, yes, yeah, so I went on that. Nothing special. It's just like a little bumpy slide, what they've got. And there's one of them on the other side that isn't rock themed. Along with that, they've got the kids' pool that's got like, I think there was like four or five tiny little slides I in went there. On one of those. Charlotte went on one. And also the Helter Skelter slide that unfortunately didn't get to try because it's closed at the moment. But uh, that's a shame. Would have liked yeah. to have done that. Nothing huge. It's only a small, it's literally a Helter Skelter. You saw it probably in the promotional footage there. But uh, um, yeah, you know, I think overall it's a good water park. I'd say my favourite part of it is the outdoor rapids. However, I still thought they were going to be a bit better than what they were. Um, Charlotte was watching me through the window, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, it looked a little bit slow again. Yeah, it was quite hard to kind of get the, the movement going on there. There was a couple of different routes, like a split off point part way in. Overall, I think it's a great water park for families. Um, it's got some really nice family pools in there. There's like four hot tubs in the middle. Um, you've got like a wave pool in there as well. Along with that, there's like quite a big pool to swim in on the left hand side, which was nice. But for me, it's lacking like a signature standout ride. I used to like the old Master Blaster slides they had in the in the pools at Butlins. And I really feel like that could have done with one in there. I feel like for me, for what was there, it was perfect for me, for me not being like a massive fan of water parks. But I do agree, like there could be something else. It's yeah. like the, the two slides that they've got, the rock one and the, the other one, they're kind of the same, just without the theming on them. Yeah, literally identical slides, like the bumpy ones. I don't yeah. know the technical name for them, but I'm not a water park expert. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a good water park. Was it worth £40 million investment? And in my opinion, I think they could have maybe done a bit more, but you've got to think the overall infrastructure of putting something like that together, brand new. It wasn't new like, build. you know, yeah, it's a brand new build that was. So um, that's probably where the money was spent. Hopefully they might get a, a couple more slides in there in the future. But overall, I think an hour was perfect, really. It wasn't too busy. Just want to say, you know, they didn't let too many in. We, we got there early. So you do get an hour and 15 minutes, which yeah. is what it was, but we just stayed in there for the hour, which was enough. Yeah, and you need a, a one pound coin for the locker as but well. But it is refundable. Yes, refundable lockers. But overall, great water park. I'd say I'm slightly disappointed. I thought I was expecting a bit more from, um, from the slides and also as well from the rapids. But don't get me wrong, it's a family place. It's a good family water park. And the most important thing is that it was safe, plenty of lifeguards around, and, and it was clean as well. Yeah. Really really clean um, which was fantastic I think if we're going off the three Butlins resorts I think the pool I prefer at Skegness for the You've slide. more swimming space as well at Skegness. Mm, yeah and I think the, the fact that they've got the, the big bowl slide there which is really good fun. The body slide there is a lot better as well. So yeah I think the Skegness pool's better. I mean that had a refurb what maybe five six years ago if not a bit longer now and I think that pool is better in my opinion but this certainly looks the part and I very much enjoyed it. Yeah I, th I really enjoyed yeah, it for what I nice. used it for it was really relaxing for me worth pointing out as well the maximum depth is only 1.5 meters i think it was yeah, which so is really good. um yeah you know it, it's not too deep anywhere in you there you can stand up good. everywhere you can indeed but uh, anyway we're going to head back down to the fun fair now of course we covered all of the fun fair rides in yesterday's vlog but we didn't go on the go-karts did we, we? so we just got time today to go and head down there now and get on the go go-karts six pounds um per car to go on Isn't so yeah we'll, we'll have a car each and have a ride around shall we let's go for it we'll head down there now here we go then so we've made it back down to the fun fair so nice just to be able to walk within five minutes to anything at this resort that's what i do really like the speed demon go-karts i think we pay for them just out the little uh, booth just down here so yeah we'll go and buy our tickets for the speed demon are you feeling like a speed demon yeah this is it who's gonna win round that's what we want to know yeah the leisure hub's just down here on the right do you like all the signage for him and of course we'll take you on with the GoPro. Looking forward to these actually. Not being on any go-karts for a while. Here's a little look at them actually. Show you on fear. There you go. See how all the track leads around this way just here. Of course come back down into the station. I'm glad I changed my shoes or I wouldn't have been able to go. Oh no, yeah. There you go, long hair must be secured and tied back. You're all prepared, Charlotte. I am. For the rules, right, we'll head around this way. We're we'll going to buy our tickets, buy your tokens if you'd like to ride. Here we go, Speed Demon. Here we go then, so we bought our tickets. It's time for the Speed Demon go-karts. Look quite quick these do actually, looking forward to these. Not been on any go-karts for a long time. Just so nice to get out and do things again and it was wonderful just to get back in a swimming pool for the first time in ages of course. With all the restrictions and oh, just to be inside and enjoying a pool was wonderful again. 
Here we go, make the most men get on these. You can have either single or doubles. And it's six pound a car. So yeah, if you wanted to come on with your kid, of course it is only six pound. Right, let's go. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't take the GoPro on the go-karts, oh. but we had a good time, didn't we? Yeah, it was really worth the money. We had about 10 minutes on that. Yeah, probably had about 20, 25 laps, yeah, something like really that. Yeah, really fast. I wasn't counting, that was just a guess, but yeah, there was a lot on there. It's certainly worth £6 per car. Of course, if you don't want to pay per car, you could just go in the same one, couldn't yeah, you? You, you could, know, yeah. but we thought we'd have our own one on there. The go-kart's not been on them here for a long time, so brought back some memories. But yeah, shame they don't allow GoPros. Don't really know why, because you can film on all the fun fair rides. Yeah, it wasn't on any of the restrictions. Boards either. No, it was just a bit strange, but is what it is. Um, but anyway, we've just been back to get changed, had a nice shower and stuff, because we of course we went straight to the go-karts after going into the splash pool. And then now it's time for some food. We're off to the oh, new starving. restaurants, aren't we? Yeah. So what's this one? I think it's called Firehouse Grill. Yes, this is like a chicken restaurant. So we'll show you all the menu in case you're going to be coming down here. And then of course we'll show you our food. Let's head over. So this restaurant's located inside the Skyline Pavilion. The sun's come out for us tonight as well, it's lovely. We've got an action-packed evening of entertainment that we're very much looking forward to. Just thought I'd show you here on the left-hand side, you've got Scoop. That's the nice ice cream shop just over there. Probably will sample one of those at some point. Yeah, they look quite nice. Here's all your different uh, yeah, ice creams that you've got available. One scoop, two scoops, three scoops. Fudge fingers, all sorts of stuff down there. Might have to try one of them at some point. We've got some nice music playing, haven't we? We can enter around here. Oh, okay, we'll go around this way. Yeah, it's kind of on the edge of the Skyline Pavilion, isn't it? So yeah, you can either go around the inside or just on the outside. That's the beauty of Butlins, having the Skyline. When it's raining, it's nice, isn't it? Like, because it doesn't matter. But yeah, we can just head around this way. Head around into the Firehouse Grill. Here we are then, inside the Firehouse Grill. Oh, it's nice in here, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. Lovely, right, we'll show you the menu just so you've got a bit of an idea, of course, what you can get. Again, you order all on the B-Serve app. So yeah, like no having to sort of wait around, that sort of thing. Yeah, here's a look at the menu just here. You've got all the Firehouse specials. I think I'm gonna be having one of them. You've got the fried buttermilk chicken tenders. You get five of those with a dip. And of course, you get one side with uh, two sides there as well. So yeah, all sorts available in here. Chicken burger down there, buttermilk chicken wrap, and of course you've got your uh, vegan options just over there as well. You've got like the uh, corn burger that they do, halloumi, and yeah, loads of stuff. Of course you can get a salad in here as well. Lots of different starters there, garlic bread, spicy sweet corn fritters, chicken wings. I do like chicken wings, but don't think I'm gonna have any tonight. I'm gonna go for the tenders. And of course you've got um, lots of different sides available down there as well. And of course desserts down there as well. Yeah, pretty reasonable price, I'd say, would you? Yeah, I think that's really nice. That's what do you tough. think you're going to go for? I'm going to go for the boneless chicken breast, I think. Oh, okay. But yeah, really nice. I like how they've got an open kitchen in here as well, so you can see your food being cooked. And there's the bar just over there. It's not very busy considering it's dinner time, is it? No, it's not. A lot of people probably do the dining plan. Yeah, or of course maybe cook as well. But yeah, really nice. Yeah, there's a little look at your menu just to give you a bit of an idea on one of the sit-down restaurants here at Butlins. Like I said, we tried the chip shop last night. But yeah, we literally order all on the uh, the B-Serve app just here. Nice and easy, and we'll get some food coming out. Of course, give you a bit of an idea on uh, drinks prices and stuff as well. I mean, you get cocktails in here, you get pictures, $15.95. Um, we can have a glass for $5.95. Mocktails, spirits, beer and cider, soft drinks. I think I'm just gonna have a soft drink. And then of course, hot drinks are available as well. Lovely. All right, let's get ordering. Oh, wow, look at this. Dinner is served. Look at the presentation there. This looks phenomenal. Oh, yeah, so there you go, there's Charlotte's. Oh, so yeah, we went for the two sides, didn't we? So you've got your uh, fries there, chips, and mashed potato. There we go, and I've got my uh, onion rings just there. Got my chips and got my tenders, honestly. You brought some mayonnaise as well. It's quite funny because they brought the sauces over. <laughs> the mayonnaise are these really cheap mayonnaises. So I've got some of these in here. I like how you're whispering. I've got some almonds, so I bought some almonds with them. <laughs> They're totally uh, not from Weatherspoon. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, yeah. We, you like your bro premium sauces, don't do. you? This looks good and also went for the uh, unlimited refills, but it's quite funny. So that's the one that you came with originally. Yeah, I've just, this is my second small. one, and I've got a smaller glass now for my refill. It's quite funny, isn't it? You can just get another one, though, to be fair. Here we go, let's tuck in. This looks delicious. 
Well, that was absolutely delicious. Or shall I tell you what? I'm going to make Charlotte's words divide. <laughs> But yeah, that was really nice. The tenders were gorgeous, um, especially the chips as well. They were really nice. Oh, honestly, the whole meal was lovely. I'd go as far as to say that's one of the nicest meals I've had for a very long time. That much so that I'm having a dessert. We're getting one sent out. How was yours then, Charlotte? Yeah, it was really nice. I just kind of wish that we had sauce because it was a little bit plain. A bit plain for you. No sauce for me though. It was really nice. Yeah, lovely. Oh, what a nice meal. Yeah, we've got a dessert coming out. I've gone for a nice cheesecake. We're just thought I'd mention as well there was a gluten-free uh, menu as well just here on the back just to show you so of course you've got lots of different uh, options there available as well and then of course we'll open up just here and show you the dessert menu so yeah we've gone for the billionaire's cheesecake just here so we've got that coming out you didn't fancy a full dessert did you full up I'll let you have some of mine don't you worry about that I love a good cheesecake I do I wasn't planning on having a dessert to be honest but as the main was so good and you get tempted in the moment don't you you know here at the firehouse grill so yeah got a nice billionaire's cheesecake coming out £4.25 it's also uh, a vegan option well, here it is. It didn't take long for it to come out, but... It's a bit of a disappointment, man. <laughs> it is a bit small. It's a bit small. I hope it tastes good. Like, I don't mind it being small if it tastes good, but yeah. I mean, look at that. It's a bit tiny, isn't it? I know I've lost three and a half stone, but uh, they tried to get me a small one on purpose, do you think? Uh, here we go. I'm going to try it. Luckily, though, there is some nice strawberries. Love a good strawberry. Oh, delicious. So we just had a lovely meal there at the Firehouse Grill. New restaurant here at Butlins, and I really enjoyed that. Yeah, it was really nice. Oh, I must say, the the dessert was a little bit too small, especially for uh, what four pound twenty five. Yeah, quite was. yeah, quite expensive for that. But it did taste really nice. It was very, very good. I'm not a huge cheesecake fan. You know, I love cheesecake. That's because I'm really cheesy. But I'm <laughs> there we go. Nearly as bad as some of the jokes in the pants that I made earlier. Uh, well, no, we've had another really good day. But of course, we've got some entertainment coming up tonight, Ooh. haven't we? So what have we got again, Charles? So we're going to see the Greg Jones show, which is like a game show, and then we're going to see Strictly Latino. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the game show works because normally at Butlins they get people up um, onto the stage very full on, very interactive. Of course, with COVID restrictions, I don't know how that's going to work. Is if they're still going to pick people out or not? I don't know, but we'll soon find out because we're going to be heading there first. What what venue is that in? So we're seeing that in Studio Thirty Six. Studio Thirty Six. Of course, we was in there yesterday where we saw an absolutely incredible band last night. Uh, they were really good, weren't Domino's. they? The Dominoes. That's it. Not Domino's Pizza. But I'm <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the jokes are coming out now. Uh, it's good of Max Fulham last night, like all the jokes that he had. But um, yeah, and then of course we're going to be heading into the centre stage. Centre right? stage, Centre yeah. stage, of course, the venue that we were in earlier uh, with the pantomime that we couldn't fail, but we'll be able to put in some highlights tonight from Strictly Latina. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. It is Latina, isn't it? Latino. Lati oh, Latino, there you go. So yeah, that's going to be coming up. So look forward to that. I don't really know exactly what it is. It's like a dance and singing show. Yeah, a bit of flamenco -y style stuff, I maybe. So. I don't know. It's going to be very tropical, I think. So yeah, that's coming up. But yeah, first we're going to head into uh, Studio 36. Here we go then, so we're down near the front for this one here in Studio 36 and look at the sign up there, can you read what it says? It's Greg Johns. Greg Johns, not Greg Jones, like you've been saying. Well, I think it's changed his name because I could have sworn <laughs> it was Greg Jones. On the app you thought it was different. Yeah. I tell you what, I hope he doesn't watch this vlog, he's not going to be very happy with you. Oh, no, I got his name wrong. Here we go, but yeah, we're all down here ready at the front. If they do pick anybody out, Charlotte's going to put a hand up. My hand's going straight. <laughs> I don't think they will though with Kobe restrictions, but you never know. Of course we'll put a bit of footage in of the show, we'll see what it's going to be like. It's Greg Jones! Yes, here we go! Everybody make some noise! Woo! What a fun step, boys and girls! Give us a wave and say hello! Woo! Come on, we're on holiday, we can do it better than that. Give us a wave! Hello! Woo! It's great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to the game show. Now, before we start this show, all the boys and girls, wherever you are, can you do me a favour? Can you put your one arm in the air like this? Wherever all the kids are, that's it. All the boys and girls, that's brilliant, that is. That's it. All the kids, put your one arm in the air if you wet the bed. 
we've just seen a couple of minutes of highlights there from Greg John's game show. Family game show, very different to normal, wasn't it? Because they yeah. used red coats instead of actually getting the public involved. It would have been a hell of a lot better if it could have been involved with the public. It would, but obviously it can't be at the moment because of no, the uh, restrictions in place. But um, it was okay, nothing spectacular. I've everything that we've seen so far is definitely our least favourite, I think that. It's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it was rubbish. I think, you know, the crowd were loving it, getting involved and stuff. Lots of different rounds, karaoke round. My favourite was the fact that they had like a TV show round where they played a different theme song than what the actual screen was showing so you had to name the two um, but yeah of course it was more just shouting out from the crowd really uh, but they couldn't really do much more at the moment I think you know they made the best of a bad situation with the game show however really they shouldn't be ruining the game show I don't I think don't at the think moment under they that. I should have waited until they could use the public. Yeah I'd rather have had a nice live music act like we saw last night however shortly we've got a really good show that we're looking forward to this one. Yeah fingers crossed. Yeah we've seen some previews of this and it looks good Strictly Latina. Strictly Latina. Oh, there we go she's doing a little dance for you all but yeah we're just nipping back to the apartment uh, and then we'll be uh, heading back out i tell you what it's a bit windy tonight it's but at least cold. the sun's shining um yeah of course um yeah looking forward to seeing some more entertainment here tonight oh, oh my god it's a skyline gang don't worry though we are going to be checking them out in the third and final vlog from my trip to Bullins. i'm steaming up in here with a mask on crazy can't wait to not have to wear a mask though i must say especially when you wear glasses you steam up quite a bit less than two weeks to go um but yeah the skyline gang in the background we're gonna be watching them and tomorrow we can't wait to share it yeah, exciting. yeah it's gonna be great that'll be coming up in our third and final vlog here from butlins in bogner regis back in the skyline then where we're headed into center stage to watch yeah looking forward to this it's like an hour show is it i think this one big show gonna get lots of footage for you and you never know i'm sure me and charlotte will have a bit of a dance at the table because you can't dance on the dance floor at the moment they're all blocked off let's get into center stage here we are then, right on the front row, here in centre stage for Strictly Latino. Looking forward to this. And yeah, completely different set to earlier on, of course, when we was in here for the Little Mermaid pantomime. And yeah, they've actually completely changed the front of the stage just here as well. And whoa, 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 Charlotte over here has got some popcorn. Oh my God, she's going straight in with that. You're looking forward to this, we're on the front row. Yeah. yeah she can't talk, she's got a mouth full of popcorn, love it. Here you get the uh, popcorn buckets just here. Lovely, how much are they? £3.50 weren't they? £3.50 for a popcorn bucket. Lovely, we are looking forward to this. Of course we'll put in some highlights from the show. And of course as well, oh is it nice? We might get a bit of dancing from us. We can't dance on the dance floor. Normally this whole area would be the dance floor actually where they put the seat in. But uh, of course at the moment there isn't any uh, dance floor available because of social distancing. But yeah, here we go. Gonna tuck into a bit of popcorn. Lovely. Oh yeah, do you want some viewers? <laughs> Here's some highlights from the show. <laughs>
fancy you've seen a bit of footage there from Strictly Latino. Yeah, that was great. Absolutely amazing. So there was uh, some of the cast that was from The Little Mermaid, the musical that was in there, but oh my God, it's so much to learn. It was brilliant. Yeah, fair play to the performers for yeah. learning the musical Definitely. and that. That was a high energy show. So and we'll absolutely. make our way inside because it's a bit cold, it but cold. Uh, just wanted to show you the light up seats. I did mention them earlier, but we we're going to show you last night, but it was raining. Aren't these nice? All the light up uh, seats just down here. Yeah, that was absolutely brilliant. Really enjoyed it. Nice high energy show. Some great songs in there. Oh, yeah, well. some absolute classics in there, like Shebangs. Oh, love it. Oh, what really what a classic. It. Love it. Like, honestly, it was brilliant. Like, I think, you know, the entertainment that we've seen, we've enjoyed all of it, to be honest. Of course, you know, other than I'd say the game show was, was okay, I thought. Charlotte wasn't a big fan. I thought it was okay but uh, everything on the game show really has been phenomenal like really good quality but um, like the set design everything all the screens and I tell you what these Butlin shows have come a long way since when I was a kid like honestly when I was a kid like I enjoyed them but like the technology has got so much better now hasn't it oh it's a bit warmer in the skyline so cold though. oh oh okay, you're right there you okay. I'm doing a you from the other day you've not even had a al alcoholic drink what, what did you trip over yeah, oh my god, and we got uh, a little bit of popcorn left there. A little bit. Yeah, pretty much uh, got rid of it, but I think we'll finish that off. Guy, you're right there. I'm all right. Yeah, if you haven't already seen it, check out my epic Let's fall <laughs> at Clarence Pier. I fell off a curb, like, you know, the oh. other day, which was crazy. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, wrap up today's vlog. It's been great, really enjoyed it. Well, that wraps up our day two vlog here from Butlins. Our staycation is going great so far. I'm really enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, and the weather's been quite good as well. We've been pretty lucky. I know it was a little bit breezy earlier, but other than the rain last night and a little bit of breeze, we've not been too bad. It's not been too bad. <laughs> when we checked the forecast, it looked awful all week. So, yeah, we're not doing too bad at all. And we've still got one more vlog for you coming up from Ooh. Butlins. We're going to be covering quite a few different things. So, we've got a few more activities we're going to do, haven't we? Yeah, so we're going to have a game of bowling. Ooh. We're going to have a game of golf. Yes. We're going to hire some bikes. Yeah, that sounds good fun. And then we're going to see musical rock. Mm, so that'll be good. And some uh, other entertainment, including the Skyline yeah, Gang. Yeah, the Skyline Gang. Right well. here in the Skyline Pavilion. But that is the good thing with Butlins. You know, if the weather is rubbish, a lot of your things are indoors, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, which is really good. This massive indoor area. The good thing is the, the venues are literally right next door to the Skyline as well. So, you know, you can just nip straight into those um, and get out of the rain if it is poor weather. Uh, but I'm really enjoying it so far. I definitely think this is the best resort there out of the I three agree, yeah. but you know after seeing it all together I really enjoyed today I thought the pool was brilliant uh, don't get me wrong I don't think the slides or anything amazing but as an overall package the pool is wonderful and the main thing it was safe and clean you know I um, really enjoyed that the entertainment's been good the game show not quite as much but what we've also seen has been brilliant Definitely. today um, of course the pantomime earlier was absolutely phenomenal brilliant and same with the Strictly Latino tonight. Like, that was Love great. To dance Love it. Yeah, it was great. Singing. We were dancing, singing along. It was absolutely awesome. But yeah, we've got one more vlog coming. I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog series. Something a bit different for us because we have vlogged Butlins before, but we've never gone into as much detail as we have on this trip. So if you like this sort of thing, let us know in the comments down below and we'll do similar staycation style vlogs at the other Butlins, maybe. Definitely. It'd be really good yeah. to we're do. Good to go back. I think it's been three years anyway, hasn't it? Since yeah, we last went to one. Yeah. So um, yeah, definitely. We'll have to look at doing that in the future. Future. but come and join us in our final vlog tomorrow our day three vlog um, here from Butlins on theme park worldwide that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there, there and, and keep, keep on, on riding. riding see you all tomorrow